Hi everybody, Nathan Ronan, CFA here, co-founder and CFA lead instructor at Chalk and Board with another update for you on the CFA program. Today, the CFA level one results for the May 2023 exam came out on here today on June 27th and the pass rate was 39%, just 1% higher than the results on the February 2023 exam. I'd like to talk to, to you about that for a second, if you, especially if you did not pass the exam. So this uh, video is dedicated to those people that did not pass the exam. So if you pass the exam, this isn't probably, is not really relevant to you. And you can watch my other video on that on YouTube. Uh, but I'd like to dedicate this to those people that did not pass. But before I do, if you're interested in continuing to receive these updates as they come out pretty much on a weekly basis or bi-weekly basis, please press the subscribe button or the notifications button so that you can continue to receive them. Okay, well, today is a happy day for some people, those that passed, and it is not such a happy day for those people that did not pass the level one May 2023 exam with a 39% pass rate. Now, what I do want to mention before I get into what you can do and what you should do, in my opinion, I just want to make sure you understand that it is not uncommon to fail or not pass the level one exam on the first try. It can happen. Um, it can happen even a second time, but it shouldn't happen more than two times. But in any case, uh, those people that did not pass Please do not fret, don't quit the program, don't figure that life is over. Um, this is just an exam. Please put it into perspective. This is not cancer, this is not a terminal illness. This is, you still have the ability to take the exam six times in total, okay, before they, you have to call it quits, and you can do it. You can definitely do it. So here's my suggestion to you if you didn't pass the exam. Take today off, absorb, you know, the result. Okay, easier said than done. Maybe even try to stay off social media and watch all the Academy Award winners on LinkedIn or Instagram, you know, posting their results and that they were in the 90th percentile or in thanking mom and dad and sister Susie and Uncle Bob and the dog and the cat and the parakeet and their third grade teacher. I mean, those are great things, but it's not going to help you feel better about yourself. So the thing to do right now is to try to feel better about yourself, realizing that you will have your moment, you'll be able to be that Academy Award winner as well, and that you can definitely pass this in November, okay? Now, this is my suggestion to you if you didn't pass the exam. You should definitely take the exam in November 2023. Same curriculum, same materials. You, don't, you only have to pay the CFA Institute exam fee again, um, you know, and, and you can use the same materials that you've been using if you choose to do so. That might be risky, that might not be risky, but you still have the same curriculum and you don't have to make a lot of adjustments. I would not leave this for February 2024 or May 2024 simply because the program changes a lot for level one in 2024. You have those added components of the practical skills, which some people may like, others might not, but it's a, in my opinion, it's a significantly different program for good or for bad. Okay, so why, why make all of these adjustments now for 2024 and get, get the ball rolling? Do November 2023, you'll probably end up passing it. You already know what the exam is like. You already know what it feels like. You have seen the kinds of questions they ask. You see how they focus. You see how they ask the questions. You have an advantage over anybody that has not taken the level one exam before and is taking it in November for the first time. So I would definitely take that advantage and use it. Now, what I would recommend to you very much is if you're going to take it in November 2023, as I just suggested, suggested that you sit back for a moment and reflect, why do you think you didn't pass? Um, there's no control over your results. You can't contact CFA Institute, send them an email, complain, whine, moan, ask for your, you know, your exam to see what you did wrong. Forget about it. Your result is you didn't pass. Second thing, don't overanalyze the results page, those, those two pages of results that you get, where you were in each of the areas compared to everybody. Just take a look at where you didn't do well, where you did well, and, re and remember, that does not mean, because you don't want to fail this another time. That does not mean that, oh, I didn't do well in fixed income, so now I'm going to take the exam in November and I'm just going to focus on fixed income, or I'm just going to focus on fixed income and portfolio management, and I'm going to ace the exam in November. The questions in November are going to be different. The pot of people 
taking the exam in November is going to be very different. A lot of people make this rookie mistake and they try to forget to study everything evenly. They don't have a structure. They don't have a study plan. They're just going to bash the areas that they didn't do well on the May exam, hoping that in November the results will be much better. And you know what? Sometimes those areas that you overemphasize will go up, but something else will come down. And many times you'll be sitting for this a another time, a third time, or even a fourth time. You don't want to do that. So don't focus like that. That's not the appropriate way to pass the exam. What I would suggest to you is look at the approach that you used to study. Did you put in enough time? Did you really study? Did you do enough mock exams? Did you really focus on the CFA Institute's resources? Did you over rely on prep books? Did you over rely on one prep provider? And did you have a structure? Did you just read the CFA books? Did you just read prep books? Did you have really a structure in place, a format? Did you really have any kind of focus? And I think that you'll probably be honest with yourself and say, you probably didn't. And again, many of you might say you did, but many times I find that people don't. And then what I would do is I would actually come and talk to me. I'm happy to speak to you. You can reach me on my website, chalkandboard.org. That's C-H-A-L-K and A-N-D board, B-O-A-R-D dot org, chalkandboard.org. It has my email. You can send me a message there. It also has my phone number there. You can reach out to me. I will be happy to help you pass that exam in November. I will give you a structure. I will give you a format. If you could, I'm not going to ask you to read quant, then economics, or no, 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 no. Do not, I'm going to leave it that way. We're going to have a structure. We're going to have a focus. You're going to have a real, um, you know, form in place to prepare for the exam in November. And you'll be optimizing your study techniques. You're not going to have to read every little detail over again. We're going to work together. We're going to create a study plan, focus, a strategy, and structure. And you will get this done in November with my assistance. And I will check in with you every two weeks to make sure that you are sticking to plan. Can I guarantee you anything? I won't guarantee you anything because if you don't do the work, that's not my fault. Okay, but you do need to do the work. You need to properly prepare. Um, if you're looking at all these, you know, insurance policies that people put out for you, well, if you're not passing the exam using the same materials more than once or twice, there you got to re, you know, refocus on what you're doing wrong. Okay, because using the same process over and over again, expecting a different result, is what we define as insanity. That's what. Einstein defined as insanity. So again, don't fall, fall for these marketing gimmicks of all kinds of, you know, insurance policies. Um, again, I do not encourage people to fail. Uh, I think that's what these gimmicks are, is encouraging people to be unaccountable and irresponsible. And, you know, many times just uh, having some kind of false safety net. Let's work together. Let's forget about all this stuff and let's really focus. Let's get a strategy, a structure, and a study plan all geared to passing in November. So if you're interested, check me out on Chalk and Board. You can reach out to me and I'd get the bundle deal with the two mock exams and let's get moving forward so that you're taking level two in 2024. Have a great day. And again, don't be upset. Just think about it a little bit and I'm sure you'll see that there's ways you can improve. Have a good day.